Well, shot at one. First and foremost, I like to begin this lesson here by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Kakodash, and double honors. Double honors goes to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations goes to the elect. And um, this here is the brother Amma One from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. Coming back to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashami. I was shy. Yeah. So I'll talk on um, Esau Edom today. Because this group 4P came back talking that stupid talk where Esau is not the white man, Esau is a Japhite. And the Edomites are actually black people with red hair. So, as a defender of the gospel, you know, we have to say something about that. These damn devils are real folly. I mean, these devils. Them jakes and them who operate like this, so they, they are devils as well. Eh? Them is devils too. Eh? Yeah, them is devils too. The word devil means slander, deceiver. Right? There is a devil. Just cause a slander, you come into slander, man. And there is a slander on the doctrine. That, that, to say that, that is a slander on the doctrine. Slander in your house, shy day. Right now, I. I am. Uh, hey, the Lord is very beautiful. Uh. Like nature itself, I, I like right now laying down on my van. I have a van with one of them long trees parked up, and I need some trees right now. And I hear and just enjoying nature. Nature is a it's a lovely thing. The air keeping you cool. The, the song that it leaves. Them thing on them is, is soothing to the spirit. That is a song there. You know. Them leaves on them is a, is a beautiful song there. You know. Wow. The Lord is a... Yahweh Basham Yahweh is amazing. That ain't no lie, bro. That is like facts, bro. The thing is, the people who rule in this world that do, do appreciate these little things. These are the things we're going to be doing in every kingdom, man. It's appreciating every single thing the Lord make. The earth need we in rulership, eh? Because this earth is just destroy good people. Because why? We can run ruling. It really sad how the Edom I well appreciate these these things what I go consider a little way. You lend the earth, you supposed to forward more of this. You understand? Know Maybe you would be in peace now. Eh? There's a connector right there to show that the Native American Indians are our people as well because they love peace. If you, if you see how these Native American Indians just operate, they love peace. They just be in their corner. It's a peaceful people, they do. Same thing with the Negro. So-called Negro. So-called Negro is a peaceful people. It's just the so-called white man, the Edomites made them into this aggressive but in their in their real lot we don't we don't we don't want no trouble huh? that niggas out here for real they, they have to die but the majority of our people is peaceful people the latinos we peaceful right we enjoy the, the Best things in life are free. 
we just enjoy and appreciate these things because we know it come from our lord just now very soon our lord is going to come back here and we waiting god praises the yahweh by hashem yahushai all the time eh? because this is something else boy. Eh? this is like you know i, I could just stay here for the entire day <laughs> just appreciate it I don't, I don't appreciate, I really don't appreciate a, 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 I mean, a job. I don't, oh, what I mean now, when you say, <laughs> you have to appreciate it in a, in a sense of, I know I'm going to I come off topic, but I like that, I have to be the spread, I have to be spread, like I, I come to talk about these either, right? but I will bring it back to that. I can't appreciate working for people. I can't appreciate these things as much. Working for people, having a transportation to put gas in your car and doing the things that the world requires and money. I can't appreciate money as much as this one. Right? This money can't buy this. What what I doing here right now? Just to serve the Lord and I want to serve the Lord all the days of my life because this is riches right here. Yeah. Riches is not material. The man who created these things is richer than any fuck. <laughs> I don't care what you saw. Of. The man who made this why what I what I do here right now. They enjoy this. The man who make this, he richer than anybody. He don't need money. He need a clean heart and a pure mind. And a pure hands. That is what he need. He don't need money. Money don't impress him. He make what we create. What's the thing? <sighs> this is something special. For real. This is some praise worthy. To give the Lord all the praise. This is something special. Wow. But the Edomites, they don't appreciate this. Because they the man of sin. They are the people of sin. The people of sin, they're not going to appreciate this, what we, what we experience in here. What we experience in here, they don't have no time with us. Today is the first day of the month as well to win our calendar. New moon. Anyways, let me read this precept. This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 7. It says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Because there are these, these dummies saying that the Edomites do exist. Oh, no. They're saying the Edomites exist, but there's not so called white people. The sons of Yapath, my, my guy, right? The sons of, and daughters of Yapath look something totally different. Uh, Shemite. They're f- their features, Hamites and all those look different to Shemites. You see a real Hamite, their face is different. Their path, their face is different. They have a different face to Shemites. Shemites, Elam, Israel, Esau, Moab, Amman. We have a different face. If it's put me together, you go see it. Line up a Jaffite, Yapath. Uh, Ham and Sham. Side by side. Because the, uh, the people of Yapath are the <coughs> people in Hawaii. A lot of those people. Where you are here, yep. Are the people in New Zealand and Australia. The indigenous people there. 
uh, look at them. That's some big noses. And they look totally different to a, a, a Jeep. The Edomites come from Shem. The Edomites come from Shem. The so-called white man is a... They are not just called themselves Shem. The small hats that say we Shemite. They are Shemite. They know that. What the, the error is, is that it is exclude other Shemitic um, nations which are the so-called Negroes right we are Shemitic the Latinos are Shemitic the Elamites the East Indians are Shemitic the, the, the uh, Chinese the Japanese are Shemitic the Native American Indians they also are Shemitic and the white people also are Shemitic. The Japhites are the indigenous peoples. In, because this is where um, the Edomites cast them and put them off. Put them out. When they take over Europe, I look all over for that history. What do you what they do? They hide that history real far. Like the, the first row, the first, the first people in Rome. Who was ruling Rome or Japheth? The Haida is sure al Fadi. The Edomites really come up into the power seat in Rome. In the late half, Japheth was ruling all the time. They came up into the power seat in Greek, in Greece. Japheth was there. Right? But they know they don't, they don't power that history. Look all over for that history. I go do that. So when in the indigenous peoples of New Zealand and Australia and Hawaii, they, when they ruled Europe, you see some of the Africa. But them is the Japhites, the Edomites are so-called white people. And this is our key scripture here. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 7, it says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? When shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau right for Esau is the end of the world right Esau now this idiot saying so called black people with red hair is Esau well in that case they are the ones who are supposed to be ruling this world because in the end would be Esau ruling the world. <coughs> now, if we could do a search, if we could do a search, I guarantee you, you ain't go and see no so called black people with red hair all over the body ruling this world. You're not going to see that. Black people with red hair <laughs> ruling this world. You are going to see white people with blonde hair, blue eyes, ruling this world. That is what you are going to see. He saw himself, no, he is the Edomites. Just for he says the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. This is why Jacob hand who held Esau's heel because Jacob is going to come right after and rule this world after Esau is done with it Jacob coming right after and rule that's why Jacob's hand did hold Esau's heel 
So it's always the so-called white people. Because they ain't going to see no black people with red hair in this world. ain't happening you look at <coughs> you look at the most powerful money in the world I believe is the pound I believe the pound British pound, most powerful money in the world. Yahweh Shai, our Lord. See whose images on the superscript. Let me see. Matthew twenty-two and seventeen. Just tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Yahushai perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Why are you asking that? It's because they say, the, the Lord, we know you don't like Caesar. We know you don't like Caesar at all. So let me see if you go and see if it's lawful to give more tribute to Caesar. Yeah, I wish I was against Caesar. They understood that. They know that. Yeah, I wish I, our Lord was not world friendly. He was not all inclusive to every single body. He fucking exclude everybody. He include the ones who sincerely serve in his father. He says, show me, he says, show me your tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, whose is this image and superscription? They see on them Caesars. Right there it's saying a lot. The man who face on the money is the man in charge. Right? The most powerful money in the fucking world, two of the most powerful money in the world right now is the pound and the US. Find for me one black person. Because Japheth not in conversation in the Bible to rule the world in the end of the days. You know? Japheth not in conversation. Find for me one black person with red hair who face on their money. Oh. Then saith he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto the Most High the things which are the Hours. When they heard, when they had heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. See, when they hear that, they say, "Oh God, is he this man? Leave him alone. Leave this man. Leave this man alone. This man coming too hard." This man coming too hard. But right there it's saying a lot. It's saying that the man whose face is on the money is the man in charge. If the man in charge asks for tribute, you have to pay it. But it's two separate people. The Mosai and Caesar. Caesar is not the Mosai. But the point of the matter is, whose face is on the money today? A black man with red hair or a so-called white man. And if it is a so-called white man, and isn't he so supposed to rule the world in the end? And then Jacob coming after. So who the fuck is he so? Job 9.24 say, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? Mm-hmm. 
all the, you all jigs you all love to reach find something new find this new doctrine find that new doctrine try and bring this into the scriptures try and bring that into the scriptures add in this take all that the hawa basham shai don't fly with that for that you'll fly off your head you're disrespecting his wood you understand See, you, you all, you don't have no character, you have no integrity. Your whole stance is to just disrespect and change. We don't change. The MOTB is the MOTB until it comes to pass. We're not going to change. Which that, that prophecy nearly around the corner to come to pass. Jacob's shovel is Jacob's shovel. We don't change. You women not supposed to be trying to be over no man and we not going to change that. Standing for something is something that these people don't do these days. Standing for something. They don't stand for shit now. All they do is just talk shit. You understand? You gotta stand up for something and be real. People here to be fucking real. We don't deal with the fakery. We deal with the realness, honesty. You understand? We we not on that fake thing and trying to pretend to try and get likes. Scripture say why trim is thou thy way to seek love. We not going to trim we way to try and get nobody to like we. We standing on business. That is what we say, and that is what we say. And it's not changing for you, it's not changing for you, it's not changing for you, it's not changing for you. I don't care how much power you have, you have, you have, you have. I serve in the Heavenly Father, and He will deliver me any day, any time. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham, Akakodash. You people lack faith. No, they're not, you all not teaching your sons no faith. You're not raising up your daughters in no faithful way. And that is why you all want to remain here in Babylon the Great. <coughs> Where it is, you see now set a man walking up and down, woman walking up and down, feeling this, the opposite genders. You understand? This place needs to go. Yahweh Shai said to render unto Caesar that which belong to Caesar and unto the Most High, that which belongeth unto the Most High. It's two separate men. Caesar today is Esau. That is the Edomite. The Edomite is a super white people, and I could have taken so much other angles. To debunk your bullshit, eh? but that, that that day had to be clear to see for anybody who even thinking about that. The scriptures say with vain words and fair speeches they're going to deceive the hearts of the simple. Can you see me, bro? I serve in the heavenly Father. He don't serve his soul. His soul is a man. He hell I serve him for. What he could do for you? Scripture says, Riches profit not any day of wrath. But righteousness delivered from death. And I rather to be righteous and poor than to be rich and wicked. But the man who I serve in with my righteousness, he is the richest man in the in every he too rich. <laughs> Why is he going to give we things that we had can even fathom because he too rich. He too rich. He just 
kingdom coming just now. Just be patient, I can be patient, wait. Don't get weary. To say, you know, what I fell by died doing this so long. I said, uh, well, one boy, are you waiting uh, so long? My life going past. Uh, it's life and really have nothing. You do have nothing. Keep having this life. You don't have anything in this life. So, just study where you lost. You ain't lost it or nothing. People in the world fed up at this life. Killing the self out. We doing something meaningful. So, we, are, we have some uh, hope to look forward to. Don't be wary. Don't get tired and get fed up and say, I fed up to this work, but I'm here about five years now and I'm tired, but gosh, but no. Don't get tired. Don't get fed up. Right? Keep going. Keep fighting. Keep striving. Keep working on yourself every day. Become a better person. Become a better man in this in this walk. Become a man actually. And grow up. Elevate your knowledge. Elevate your, your daily life. In the Lord. And move completely different how the world has moved. So when they see you, they say, nah, you didn't move different. Man. Anyways, that I'll give all praises, all honor and all glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'asham, Akakodash. Hopefully you have been edified and until the next time I say Shalom to the elect out there.